I'll tell you a story. Once we went to a park here in the United States with my children, and they wanted to go on a roller coaster on that crazy sick train. And look at me. I barely can say Shakol Nyabil Varon. I don't have the power to breathe. And my kids, they wanted to go up on the roller coaster. And okay, I'll go with you. And I'm going with them, and we're coming to the first roller coaster. It was in FINU. Where were we? Los Angeles. We were over there. Okay, great. We're coming to the to the to that crazy train, and suddenly a failure in the system, and it stops. Okay, we can go. Kids are saying no, but let's wait. They're gonna open. Okay, we wait ten minutes, standing, waiting, sweating in the in California heat. Great. After ten minutes, that's it. We said okay, let's go. Three minutes after, they opened the roller coaster again. Okay, so we said, okay, maybe it's a sign, but the kids, you know, they don't care. After another five, ten minutes, we came to the second one, and Father, please, we want to go. Okay, let's go. What can I do? And I'm going, and I don't want to go. And I'm climbing with them, and we're going. And again, we came, it came to be, it's our time, it's our line, we're standing. Stop. Doesn't work. And I'm telling them, kids, see, it's a clear sign. Hashem is telling us, let's go. No, let's wait another minute, two minutes. Great, okay, another two minutes. And in the end, after we decided to give up and we gave it another chance, and Hashem opened the train. And we all went up. And they're closing those seat belts, though. And we're all there. And then there is that cruel hobby of those um, the people that are designing, planning those trips that they take you up, that you're going to understand that there is no way back from the falling. They, like they, they lift you to your plan then and you're, uh, okay, I can go back. And I don't know, maybe in hell they're enjoying from the fruit of their actions, I don't know where, but we're all climbing and climbing and climbing and I see myself losing my mind. I'm not built for those things. <laughs> and then it started, it went down. It, and like, I'm telling you, I felt like I'm dying. I'm not an extreme person, it's not me. I'm not, I'm not enjoying those things at all, that it's not me. And like, I didn't want it to be there. And in those moments, I felt like I don't have no control on my life at all. And there was only one thing that I could do, and it's to scream to Hashem. And I pray to Hashem in Barach from such a deep place in those moments that I cannot describe even. And for sure that if now I'm going to do six hours in Bodhidut, I'm not going to call him like I called him in those 30 seconds of, of, of free falling in, in, in that crazy California dream. Because Hashem in Barach won. So Hashem tried to stop me. It's not for you. But in the end, if He takes you even to a place of fear, even to a place of loss, even to a place that you lose control, even to a place that you, you regret on the moment that you're born to this world. Why am I stuck in this situation? Don't worry. There is something that you're doing in that place, and it might be even just to scream to Hashem from the bottom of your heart, just to say, Hashem, please, stop, something. But it's coming from such a deep place that it was important enough, and Hashem knows why, you had to go through that journey. And you lift so many sparks in that experience. And you prayed one time from really from the bottom of your heart. You were really screaming to Hashem in Baruch. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.